Hey guys, it's time to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S9. It's getting closer and closer day in, day out. The best of Samsung is indeed coming. Okay, so quick recap, the S9 will be the first exclusive phone to have Snapdragon 845 processor. Uh, the Exynos 9810 version with M3 architecture might be the most powerful architecture for Android phones. It will have a 3D facial scanner, a possible in-display, or a better position rear fingerprint scanner and a dual camera combination up to 24 megapixels. First, we have this leak that reveals the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus specs info for the first time and a design sketch. It's coming from a different source. So according to this, the Galaxy S9 will actually be smaller in length compared to the last year's Beast Galaxy S8 while retaining the same width and thickness. On the other hand, the Galaxy S9 Plus model will be a little bit bigger in length compared to the S8 Plus while retaining the rest of the same dimension attributes as the S8 Plus, 5.8 inch screen for the Galaxy S9 and 6.2 inch for the S9 Plus, same sizes as the last year's model and a more secure facial recognition will be there going 3D instead of 2D for better accuracy and reliability. Our usual waterproofing is here and no headphone jack. Okay, so the last time we heard about this no headphone jack thing linked to Samsung was back in 2016. So it's been a while we have seen this rumor and right now everyone is going without 3.5 millimeter headphone jack everyone except samsung lg and huawei so it's kind of expected that they might move on and make like samsung airpods kind of thing but the serial galaxy s9 leakster ice universe says that the galaxy s9 will still retain headphone jack again not sure about this we'll see more information soon dual 16 megapixel camera and a dual 12 megapixel camera combination on the front so this is pretty awesome especially for the front camera the secondary sensor could be a super wide angle sensor it may provide features like a ultra selfie focus mode for the portrait selfies and the back camera it has been 12 megapixels since the galaxy s7 so for two generations we've seen the same camera uh, megapixel amount so i think 16 maybe so would be a great upgrade uh, with the galaxy s9 and of course the new sensor that they announced the tetra cell technology actually allows up to 24 megapixel sensors so i think 16 megapixel can happen and then some information on the in-display fingerprint scanner. It says Samsung is still testing it out and it can be moved to the back of the phone, again like the last year's model. Now the sketch of the phone shows us that the chin of the Galaxy S9 is gone or it's like extremely thin, kind of what phone arenas rendered showed us. Uh, it looks freaking amazing, like it's mouth-watering. We also have a render by Venia Gaskin with a shorter chin as well. So again, this is our first specs leak from not a very well-known source. So uh, we'll see more on this soon. Twitter leakster Ice Universe says that the Galaxy S9 will have a big design change on the back. He says the back will change a lot. This could mean a lot of things. First, of course, the dual cameras, they are coming to the Galaxy S9 for the first time and they could be positioned vertically like the iPhone 10 and right below it will have a rear fingerprint scanner. Again, they're still testing out the in-display fingerprint scanner, but if that doesn't happen, then I would like to see a fingerprint scanner on the back at a comfortable position compared to what we have seen with the S8 and the S8 Plus, so that it'll be away from the camera and users won't be able to smudge their camera glass every time they try to unlock their phone. So the back would be glass, of course, for the support of wireless charging. Maybe Samsung might add like aluminum parts to it for the increase of durability while still having the gloss part for the wireless charging. We've heard in the past that Galaxy S9 might be the first phone from Samsung ever to have modularity which allow us to attach accessories like a 360 degree camera or something like that like an essential phone. Again this back change could mean a lot of things and a big big news for the Samsung Galaxy S8 users they are first to get the Oreo update officially from Samsung. The beta testing will begin in November 2017 for the US users. So this might bring a, a selfie focus mode that we have seen with the Samsung Galaxy C8, the mid-range phone. So I've seen the unboxing video, you know that. So selfie focus could happen to the SA slash noted users and a live focus mode 
can come to the Galaxy S8 users because this can happen without the need of dual cameras uh, with the help of software. We can get the live focus mode. Again, this is a huge good news for the S8 users. So make sure to subscribe for the full review of that firmware when it comes out. So yeah guys, that's it on the Samsung Galaxy S9. With every new leak, we see new features and things coming. Uh, this was the first ever specs leak as well. Uh, we saw a bit of a sketch. Let me know what you think about the S9. Would you like to see a metal slash glass combo on the back? Would you like to see a high resolution camera? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.